hi how are you doing today pray that you are doing fine i i am doing okay yes i'm really sweating because i'm from outside my face is shining because i i went outside and uh, yes uh climbing the stairs i don't have a lift where i'm living i have to climb fourth floor fourth floor Yes, so uh, what I want to say, yeah, I'm doing fine and I hope that you're doing fine and I, and I believe you're doing fine. That's why you are here to, to hear what I'm about to say, yes. Yeah, I remember last time when I did the, the video, I talked about uh, um, my hands being dry because there, there are so many uh, liquid um, cleaning stuff for the utensils. Some are good for the friendly for the hand. Some are so aggressive for the hand and uh, the one I was using made my hand so dry. In fact, the, the cuticles, I think they call it cuticles or the side of the nails, yeah, were so dry that I had to keep on cutting the side so that it's okay because they were so dry. So then I thought, well, I normally know that olive oil and uh, and uh, avocado oil, they are, the, they are very good because they absorb in the skin and they, they help the skin to you know, maintain it to be okay. Yeah, I don't know whether it is moisturizing or whatever. So, and now, there's one time I ordered um, avocado oil and uh, it was expensive. I don't remember exactly how much it was. And here they sell them in the chemist. Uh, yeah, no, back home we call apotheke chemist. Here they call it apotheke, of course. And uh, they have special shops that sell those stuffs, but you have to go a little bit further from my living. I have to go a little bit further from my living area. So I thought, why not make my own avocado? Because I wanted to use avocado. Since olive oil, I've tried even to use it on my body. It didn't work out well, but olive oil is always good. And it works out with some people, but not everybody. Because for me, I realized it's not for me. So I decided to make my homemade oil. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the oil is wonderful. It's wonderful. And I did it yesterday. I, 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 I bought four, um, I bought four, uh, avocado and I did it yesterday. So I want to tell you the process, how I did it, because I couldn't show the process. I was still trying and it was difficult to try the, I, I keep on trying this, try that, try this, try that. And that was too much to, to video and show you the process. But believe me, the oil is great. I'm going to tell you how I found that it is great. It's only one day and I saw the goodness of that oil. So what happened is that I, I cut the avocado. I peeled it off, washed it first, cut the avocado, put and uh, smashed them completely soft. Then I spread them in the tray of my oven and I put the lowest heat in the oven. I mean the warmth. I just needed only the warmth for a longer time. Then because I couldn't finish everything the very day, I left it the next day. So I put it back again. And my dear... Normally, after you do that, uh, normally you can spread it for four days without putting in the oven. It's more, it's more, uh, they call it cold, cold, uh, cold uh, pressed. I don't know how to call it in English. Uh, uh, completely natural, you know, without the heat because heat normally kills some vitamins. So that's that we all know that those who know about oils and vitamins. So I have my food. Um, um, I thought it is okay. So uh, the one thing is that I wanted instantly because I needed it, and I didn't. I didn't want to take all those four days spreading, turning it around because you have to spread and you continue turning, turning it around and spread again and leave it in an open area. And if there is sun, you put it outside in the sun. Like in Africa now, there's too much sun. You can do that on the sun. It is very great. But here now it's winter. I couldn't do anything other than putting it in the oven and with the lowest heat almost to zero heat so what happened is that there were four avocados they became so small that let me show you because i'm standing right now and sit down later it was almost like uh, two and a half of this it, it, it became so small and this is how they look after you have done that okay so the sweetest part, let me call it sweet because <laughs> even now I still want to finish the ending. 
is to squeeze the oil. <laughs> that one, please. Please don't even ask me. I squeezed a little and the amount I could get so far until now, after squeezing the one I have, I squeezed it last night and then I squeezed a little bit in the morning. Let me show you. This is a small bottle for keratin oil. I washed it. It was for keratin oil for my hair, if you can read it. So I took this bottle because I know the oil, I wouldn't get much oil more than this bottle. So, so far, my oil is reached where my finger is. Here. That's so far what I have. But believe me, even though I have this far, there were some that were remaining in my hand and I, I used them for my cuticles. If I'm saying it right, English is not my language. I'm learning English. So the little I had done, that, yes, that was yesterday. And then I did it today in the morning. I've, because that's the reason exactly why I had to make that oil to apply here. To apply all over around my nails because it was really dry. The little I have done yesterday and today, I have seen an amazing outcome. It, the work is worth it, but I'm going to show you the work, how it is. Oh my goodness, the work is hard. So then I steamed my face and I applied it on my face. My goodness, in the morning, my face was looking so smooth and beautiful. I love it. And I don't know how long I'll sacrifice for this, but I do love it and I believe I'll continue to do it. But you have to use very ripe avocado so that the oil may come out well. So I'm going to show you the last part which I, I was doing. Then you see the work <laughs> and how the oil drops. Literally. Oh my goodness, but the remaining, I the ones who were, which were on my hands, I kept on applying on the edges of my hair, but believe me, I loved the outcome. Let's see how it goes right now with the little that I was left with, okay? So I'm going to use the same cloth I used uh, because I, I use this cloth, so I'm going to continue to use it and then I'll show you what I did. This is the glass I was using. As you can see, there's still some oil inside it. And uh, I didn't bring a spoon, but since even it's the same hand that will press it, let me just use my hand. And I realized that if you take a big bunch, uh, like a, 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 not a bunch, if you take, a, a, the smaller you take, the more better the oil come out. So I'm gonna take this, this as much, that small. Because I realized I have to bring something that I'll, put the waste here and the spoon also just a moment so i brought a plate to put the waste when i'm through so um I, I realized also as I was doing the, the ones I did that the when I put so much for squeezing the oil, I couldn't get so much. So I'm gonna practice with a little because I in the beginning when I was doing the testing, it really worked with the little very well. So I I pray that you, you can see. Uh, let me So you can have a look at this. Have a look at this. My phone is telling me that uh, it's full. So it might stop anytime. So let me finish here by showing you exactly how when you squeeze what happens. This is how you squeeze it. I don't know if you are seeing how the oil is dropping because my phone wants to go off and I don't want to waste all my the energy I've done. You can be seeing how it's dropping. And I realized as little as you do it, the, the better. 
If you take a big spoonful, the, you don't, don't get much. But if you continue to do small, little by little, you get much. But let me tell you, the part that is really, really a lot of work is the squeezing the oil. You know, squeezing the oil. You see the drop? Yeah. And then, let me show you how my hand is. So oily. You can see. So the remaining I was just applying on my hands and it really worked out so well. So next time what I'll do, I'll buy quite a number of um, avocado not Because I had bought only four, I realized four is nothing. If I really maybe want to have full of this, I have to buy like eight avocados. This is a very small bottle as long as this my finger. You can see it's the length of my finger. Even the width is the length of my thumb. So you can imagine even my thumb is bigger. It's almost the length of this finger of mine. So the length is the same. That I'm just trying to let you understand how much for avocado, what you could get from four avocado. So now I have up to here exactly where I'm showing you. I, I wish you could see it. Yeah, it's let's say almost half the bottle, almost half the bottle. And you can see the bottle how it is. So, I'm going to use it for my face and I'm going to use it for my cuticles and maybe my hand probably and see how long this is going to take me. And once it's almost finishing, then I will buy more, maybe eight avocado and see how much I get. But I'll try to let them be really ripe because so that maybe I get more oil. Something went into my eyes. Yes, thank you for watching because of the telephone is going to go off probably and I don't want uh, me to, I don't want it to go off before I say goodbye to you wonderful people. So you try if, if those people who love their skin who don't like dry skin, if you want to try you try it. I'm telling you you'll be blessed. That is if it's working with your skin also because 